Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a tutorial on my last video and if you haven't seen it, I will link it down below. So I edit it with Final Cut Pro and I'm going to show you what I do and my plugins because I know a lot of people always ask me about my plugins. And yeah, this is a sneak peek that I released on Instagram. I just took the best of the video and I just put it together. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like and then we can go on to the editing. You see, when you're not pursuing your goal, you are literally committing spiritual suicide. When you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for, that takes you out of your comfort zone, you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you have. When the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game? So that's the video. So first I'm going to show you all the plugins that I have. So this is what the website looks like. Uh, so you have the Final Cut Pro products here that I use. And basically every time I just go on it and I see if I like a new one, then I put it on my wish list. And then when they have sales, which they always have, um, then I will buy. So I bought a ton of new plugins for New Year's and Christmas because they had sales. So yeah. So this is all the plugins that I bought. When you see a pixel in the beginning, that's what I bought. So I bought a lot. This has been like three years. So I, I got more here and I got more here. And yeah, so this is three years of me buying plugins. And for this video, I bought new plugins and what I bought, which I think is amazing, which was the most expensive one, is this FCPX Colorist. And this is going to take your color correction to the next level because with this, you have way more options than if you just go to the color board. If you go to the color board, this is what you have for saturation. If you take a clip and you put the saturation up, then everything goes up. Or you can just put the blacks or the whites. But what it does here with the saturation, when you put it on, is you can saturate just one color. So if you just want the blue to stand out or if you just want the yellow, so you can open it and this is what it looks like. And then if you want just the blues to be really, really high and you don't want any pink or you just want the yellow, but you don't want the orange. So here you just have the yellow. So this for me is the best and it comes with U primaries, curves, balance. And yeah, you can do a bunch of things. You can change your color. For example, if the sky is gray, you can change it to blue. You can do so many things. It was really pricey, but I'm really glad I bought this one. And then I bought new transitions that you guys seem to really like. So the transitions that I bought are trends zoom i think and trends wrap zoom uh, this is what it looks like it's basically just zooming in and this one has colors so you can go up down and yeah i always use the same things and also the new plugins that i bought is this one uh, that you might have seen here here so this is what i got it's called pixel film parallax and this basically you can do a lot of things you can change the angle of view you can put it from side to side or from down and up you can do so much with it I really, really love it. And it just uh, moves with the image. So it looks like it's moving with you. So that's what I really, really like. And this is what I used here as well. Took me a long, long time. So this video took me about 15 hours to edit, which is a long time, but I had a bunch of new presets and plugins that I 
really needed to figure out how to use, so it just took me a bit more time, but that's it. So the beginning that you see here, this transition, which makes it look like I'm still looking at New York. Um, this is just a cross dissolve. You don't have to buy anything. It's already in Final Cut Pro. This is here, it's already here. So just when you put the transition, it just looks like a cross dissolve and then you can choose if you want just the shadows, the highlights. So you just play with it a bit. And yeah, I think it looks um, really good. So I'm really happy that I found this. And then here is the new transition that I got, that I told you about, which is this one and to make it even more stand out i just put some sound effects so it's a whoosh sound effects and i got them online and yeah committing spiritual suicide so you can hear the whoosh whoosh and it makes it even more pop if you have an image of you in the nature it's nice to put a sound effect of nature here that's what i did or if you have water it's nice to put a sound effect of water so then your brain processes the sound more and the remix if you're wondering is a remix that i made so here you what i put a whoosh sound effect so this one is the cross dissolve as well and this one is the same, cross dissolve, the transition, so it looks like I'm in the stars. So, um, yeah, this, um, so this was a bit tricky. So this is an image, but I made it move to make it seem like it's a video. So um, I bought a new plugin, which is called Pro Def. So this is what it is, and basically it makes you be able to move images and make it look like it's basically 3D, but I've, I'm really struggling to use this preset. So yeah, I, I just don't understand it. I know it comes with a tutorial, but the tutorial doesn't really um, teach you anything. So I'm really frustrated with this one because I think I could do amazing things with it, but yeah, I don't understand it. Then this one is the zoom out transition. So it's just, same in the zoom transition that I bought. Um, you have a bunch of zoom in, zoom out, diagonal. Here is the same, the trends. I basically only used those two transitions and the cross dissolve. Uh, then this was filmed with a GoPro that I had in my mouth. And yeah, also everything was shot at 120 frames per second or 60 frames per second. That's why it looks smooth. Um, so yeah, this one is a zoom out. And oh yeah, this is uh, also a new plugin that I bought. So you see when I'm moving the sun, you can see the sun, it looks like the window. The sun is coming from the window, but it's actually a preset that I got. It's called Pro Lumeric, and this is what it looks like without, and this is what it looks like with. Then another zoom in and zoom out. Um, yeah, so this is the cross dissolve as well. This is the cross dissolve, so it looks like I'm closing on the beach. And this was filmed with a GoPro. And this, I used a bunch of effects to make it look like uh, I'm partying. So yeah, I put the Pro Lumeric and I'm gonna show you everything without all the plugins, what it really looks like. So yeah, this is what it looks like in real life. And then I added a bunch of lights. This is what I use. I use light leaks here that I really, really like. I always use these. I always use the lens flare because you can make them move. And then this is the one that I just got. So um, I'm going to show you without. So basically what you would do is put it on top and then you can move the thing and it's basically supposed to follow the light and then when something dark comes in the front like if my art comes in the front it's gonna look like 
it's moving because it just follow, follows the light. And you can just play with it. It looks really amazing when you put it in front of a window. Here you can see that I used the lens flare here without the lens flare with the lens flare. So basically what I do is I put the lens flare, then I go into the beginning of the clip. I click on this keyframe. I drag it all the way to the last bit. I click again and then I move. So then it moves with the clip. Then here I put the Pro Lumeric as well at the, uh, on the window, so it looks like there's lights coming from the window, without, with, and you can put like rare lights if you want a lot, if you want really bright, if you don't want it too bright. I really, really like uh, this, and you can put dust also to make it look like you see particles. If you're really interested in color correcting, it's the cinematic one. So I'm gonna show you about the saturation. Um, so basically this is what it looks like. And then you can choose how you want the clip to look like. I usually use the 30. So you see with and without, you see the difference. It makes a huge difference. And then you can just put a tiny bit and then you can just put saturation, brightness. Yeah, hope you enjoyed and I will see you for another tutorial. Bye. Selfish girl.